pickup truck was 2006. That was their first ever introduction into the pickup truck world. What blew a lot of people's minds, including my own, is that it had a very unique storage underneath the back bed section. It's lifted up and you actually have lockable storage, something that nobody else had done before. Now, first generation is long gone. The second generation has been around since 2017. And for me, it was a little bit of a heartbreaker because that first generation looked more like a truck. This midsize, a lot of people call it the El Camino of the Honda lineup. It's like a blending of a CRV with a pickup truck bed on the back. One thing is for sure is that in the midsize segment, it's going to be hard to beat the versatility of this Honda Ridgeline. Also, the way that it drives. There's a lot of people out there that think they want a pickup truck, but they don't really want a pickup truck because there's going to be a lot of nuances with a pickup truck that they're not going to gel with. This Ridgeline, though, seems to make a lot of people happy that when they own it, driving it is wonderful. So let's go ahead. We're going to dive into the 2020 Ridgeline. One thing to tell you right off the bat that's going to give you a heart attack a little bit, hopefully you're sitting down, this does have an additional $3,900 added to the price right off the bat compared to last year. But the good news is you're getting a lot more for the money at this price point. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into this Ridgeline. Right off the bat, same styling. So we are not ready for a new redesign yet. I can't wait for the third generation. I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm loving my lucky rabbit's foot that they that they make a, a move back to that first generation look. But you can see what we're working with with headlight design. And you can see where people are saying this looks like a CRV, how the grill area kind of blends into the headlight housing. You have your LED daytime running lamp. On this RTLE trim, you're getting uh, LED headlights. We drop down, you're going to have your fog lamps, other exterior lighting, black, black, and a little bit of silver. Now, as we come across the front grill area, standard on all of them is going to be the full suite of Honda sensing technology, emergency braking, lane keep assist, all those goodies that add to some of that price point that's been increased. Chrome trim goes all the way across from one side to the other, that large Honda badging, black, black on the horizontal slots. A little bit more flat black, and then you have the silver that kind of encompasses the lower portion of the front fascia. And they put that little design in there, like you see on many other vehicles, to make it look more like a truck or an SUV kind of thing. That's I feel like when it comes to design features, that kind of goes with that whole genre. Now, when we get up onto the hood, comes right down in the grill. You have higher peaks on the corners, and then you're gonna have a small little raised area just for a little bit, and then it fades away as you get to the windshield. Now, as we come around the bend, let's see what we're working with, wheel and tires. So you're gonna have this dark gray metallic wheel with the white it's working. This is an 18 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 60 series sidewall is gonna give you a wonderful ride. Flat black all the way around the fender treatment, but I think the white with this darker gray really works from the side. As we go down the side, you have gloss black that extends into the mirrors, white mirror caps, a little bit of silver trim around the perimeter of the side glass, gloss black for the pillar, chrome on the door handle, and then flat black all the way along the bottom. That's going to help take a better beating for the side of this truck. Now, when we get to the bed, we're going to find some unique features that's going to separate this Honda from any other truck. Now, the tailgate area, very clean. You have that all-wheel drive setup. You have a little bit of chrome that they brought into the rear bumper. You have your full hookup capability. One zonk is I wish that they would take the trailer hookup, move it into the upper portion of the bumper. That's going to get it out of the dirt area and whatnot. But very clean. Get ready for the magic. So with this, you can drop it down one way, your traditional setup, and you can see the amount of interior space that we have on the bed of this truck. Or What's great is, is that we can actually open this up a separate way. So what we're going to do is, right underneath here, you swing it open. So let me swing it out of the way and let Tom show off how dual functioning tailgate makes life so easy. easy. You have interior bed lighting, which is a nice touch. You have the sliding glass rear window. And you have two top and bottom tie downs at all four corners. Here's really the, the crescendo. This is the best part. And this is something like back in 2006 when they first came out with the Ridgeline. Just blew my mind. 
Look at that. Lift that up. There's your spare. There's your jack. Let me get this out of the way because you have the ultimate tailgating party set up. You even have a drain plug. So fill this up with ice. Put your favorite beverages in there. Please don't drink and drive. Once the ice melts, you just pull the drain plug and down the water goes. Clicks down nicely. It's lockable, which is great. And then when you're done, you just swing it right back. Can your Toyota Tundra, can your GMC Canyon or Chevy Silver uh, Colorado do that? I don't think so. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this ridge line. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. It does have a prop rod that is one zonk, and then the other zonk is that engine cover. Uh, I've said it once, I'll say it again. It looks like a trash can lid. But the good news is there's no trash underneath that lid. It's a 3.5 liter V6, naturally aspirated, 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. The best news is now you have a 10-speed automatic transmission. That replaces the 9-speed. With the all-wheel drive on this one, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. The Ridgeline weighs in around 4,515 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 24 in on the highway, I should say. Not in the highway, but on the highway.